Okay, my name is John Moreno, and I am operations man manager for Indie Growers Union. Um, in a nutshell, kind of give us the cliff notes of what Indie Growers is and what they're all about. Okay, basically Indie Growers Union is a union that gets growers and sort of like peer-to-peer -peer networking and combines precious resources in today's in, you know economy um, in an industry that's unknown. There's no forecasting, there's nothing there, so we provide the infrastructure from every level, from grow operations, media marketing, settling, basic things to what a seed is, what the medical applications are of it, so every aspect of it. So essentially, I mean, if I had to put it in a nutshell, you're kind of like a marketing and a, and a public relations firm for uh, the marijuana industry. Correct, and we service the marijuana, marijuana industry um, personally, correct, only specific to those clients that are, that are in that industry, not outside of that, exactly. correct. And, um, what, as, as far as your relationship with um, Sean, how, how did you help him set up his business so I can kind of explain that a little well, bit? Well, basically, we came into it. He had an infrastructure, uh, a timeline, and had to get things up. He had a growth spurt, but with the current Treasury Department not allowing us to put in funds, it's hard to do that kind of business. So we had an agreement with the union to come into him, help him establish it. We helped him with the subcontracting on the build outs. We helped him set up the security cameras. We set up the admin administrator. So we helped him roll out to be state compliant. And then at that point, um, he services it himself, his team is ready, and they, they take the transfer over and handle it himself. And I gladly represent one of my union members who obviously was the number one person to get the license in the state. Yeah, and I mean, and how exciting is it to be on the forefront of, I mean, what you potentially see as, you know, millions of dollars and what will be in a mainstream industry? Um, I would say like this, it's surreal for my team. I mean, I have people flying in from Canada tonight. We've been inundated with the stuff because we are going public to the New York Stock Exchange, which we'll, we will roll out next week. So it's surreal in the fact, but this industry is really based off an older model, which is the music industry, which I have a beta vehicle tested that did very well and cornered some of the biggest stars in the world in that union. So, so it does work across platforms. What do, you, what do you see the future for your company, I mean, in terms of you know, how you roll out your platform with, with businesses? I mean, what services will you provide? If, I, if I'm a guy who got a license and, and you come to me, what's your sales pitch, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's really not a sales pitch. It's a need-based, uh, factual, um, informational-based model. So basically, I'll come to them I'll tell them I helped Mr. Green pass his uh, state, you know, recognition and authorization to start. He had the team in place, but those growth spurts and those times, even though you have the money allocated, you have to have experts in there to make sure that everything T's across and I's are dotted. So we can come in from the aspect of licensing, getting it up, putting everything up from, from walls to from concept to, 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 to clearance or anything in between. So information. Um, alternative lending for the cannabis industry only people that we can't go borrow money from from any kind of lenders so we have certified money that's already been cleared through SEC that we can offer to our union members and I would say the most important thing would be the information and connection of all the power of the growers and the medical dispensaries and everybody in Washington State we want to brand it just like apples are to Washington State marijuana will be to Washington and there's so many states to roll out we're talking a 10 billion dollar industry this year alone I mean, you know, Spokane and, and, and these areas are going to be recognized when we do go public here in a week and they do have public offering and it's a legitimate vehicle noticed on the New York Stock Exchange. I believe that's when it'll get the credibility that it deserves. When, uh, tell me the mechanics of going public. What's the process of that? How can people... Uh, you know, that participate. Kind of my ears up, like maybe I want to get involved. You okay, on the, on the IPO, well, people can visit us at indiegrowersunion.org send their information. Um, right now with the venture capital group that's already underwritten our company, we're already in stages of like first lockdown, I would say. Um, it's a meticulous process of vetting and auditing so that you can clear Department of Records, especially with cannabis. Um, but we don't deal with cannabis. We deal with the services surrounding everything but the tree so the public's able to participate on the New York Exchange platform without having any legality of investment and they actually get to watch our collectives grow Via, via IP cameras 24-7 so that they can feel part of what they're doing and actually be able to, to just see how the process is because it, it's not as easy as people think. They will actually bet the farm and lose it this year, but let indie growers come in, service it, and we give you crop insurance. If we do something wrong, we have the underwriting to financially give you and recoup what you anticipated for your medicine so that you're not left without your needs for, for the time that we grew it.
And, it, and people need to understand that indie growers is not, you guys aren't growing in the farm. You guys are the infrastructure. And we the have advice, nothing, no plants, exactly. zero. We are the infrastructure, the systems analysts. We have the forecasting, the numbers, and the, the financial backing now from, from, the, from the New York Stock Exchange and our company going on, you know, with the IPO now to really formally look at lobbyists, look at it, analyze it, and see is there a different aspect that we need to consider and have the, legitis- the legitimate money that we can give to that inf- infrastructure, especially with the dispensaries. They can't go borrow money and they have growth spurts right now and liquor control board is pushing them harder. So I'm there to fill that gap, grab that ease, convert them over, get them clear for retail so they know that forecasting, you are cleared, you will have your money. You will produce X amount. Tell us a little bit about the infrastructure of indie growers. Like what kind of experts are involved in that? Um, well, basically on the online immersion, which our whole identity is going to be based on, we have Jennifer Walker. She is head of General Motors at Cobalt uh, e-commerce marketing with emphasis in search engine optimization. Um, we have Robert Coolridge who is one of the master encryptionologists with Microsoft and Bill Gates and has contracted several contracts for the government. Um, and we have some very hard-hitting players in the financial sector and internationally um, that, 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 are, that are part of the infrastructure here in the States that, that have given us the financial backing needed to really come into the industry and become leaders. So, so you guys got it all in place. I mean, what do you see for the future in five years with the marijuana industry? Us trucking truckloads of armed transport gps and get the armed transports not for the for the cargo it's there for the driver putting their life on the line they know to give anything up on delivery anything that they're doing with cannabis we forfeit the the the, the protocols forfeit the tree forfeit anything but the minute they draw the line on a life we'll put you down i mean it's a real industry just like a loomis car you know and i see the trucking industry i see border states tracking it to eliminate the black market marijuana coming to a state that has it on a biomedical lent- level engineered cleared and obtaining some of that to start tracking it and not having to go from seed to sale because i believe that's going to cause uh, a staggered out false demand mm-hmm. of marijuana when in fact we have the ability to flood it if they gave an ag tax or something prepared so that everyone has an amnesty to claim what they have in medicine extra, give them an ag tax and make them pay for that extra so it's accounted in the system. If not, they're allowing for that to flood in and we have to trap that. We do not want nothing illegal and we want everything transparent. 